What do we do we start negative or positive today? Oh, let's start negative. That's more fun. You know, okay. Uh, and I, I guess I would start there, at least from last night. I was very underwhelmed by Notre Dame. I think Notre Dame was underwhelmed by Notre Dame, talking to them afterwards. Uh, you know, Ian Book knew that he played poorly. Uh, Brian Kelly said uh, that basically our veterans got to take it up another level. I, I think they were complacent. I think they came in thinking, you know, we're a playoff team. They're Louisville. We we. We, we, we are in control here, and then started that way, and then, hey, Louisville showed a little bit of spunk, and Notre Dame didn't respond all that well. And, yeah, they won, and they won by 18 points, but it, I think everybody there knows in three weeks they got to play Georgia, and if they play like that against Georgia, they'll lose by 18. Uh, what else stood out? Because there were a couple of embarrassing losses. Any loss worse than Tennessee's? No, no, no. Tennessee, <laughs> Tennessee. The only thing more embarrassing than what Tennessee did was what Hugh Freeze did, but uh, that's a whole other matter, really. Uh, no, Tennessee was just that was incredible for uh, them to, to lose. I mean, Georgia State two and ten last year, picked to finish last in their division of the Sun Belt, which means basically you're in the running to be the worst FBS team in America. And they go in and not just beat them, but they handled them, especially in the second half. They pushed them around. They had 24 points, 240 yards after halftime. Tennessee looked like they quit defensively, I thought. And that's that's a really bad sign at home in your season opener against a bad team. Yeah, you know, you have a couple of those losses. Missouri losing to uh, Wyoming. Uh, Florida State losing at home. Um, Mountain West did well. Mountain West did great. <laughs> I mean, the best opening weekend they've had in so long. Maybe ever. They had just four Power Five victories, and uh, several of them in comeback, double-digit comeback fashion. So, you know, good to have Boise back uh, back on the radar with a true freshman quarterback. And uh, Nevada wins on a kick by a true freshman on a 56-yard field goal who was a walk-on. He got a scholarship after the game. Uh, it was a nice, nice weekend for the, for the Mountain West, that's for sure. I'm curious about Oklahoma. If we look at Lincoln Riley, and, and are we not giving him enough credit for this offensive system that he has there? You bring in Hertz, who I don't know if people looked at as a pro quarterback, but he put up incredible numbers. I know it's week one. But, you you know, you had Kyler Murray who comes in. You had Baker Mayfield who comes in. And now Jalen Hurts transfers in. Is it the system here? Uh, the system's a lot of it, for sure. I mean, I think, I think you've got to look at Lincoln Riley and say, nobody's doing better work with quarterbacks in the country right now than what he's done. And, uh, yeah, Jay, I mean, Jalen Hurts has had done a lot. I mean, he had 7,500 yards total offense in Alabama, like over 70 touchdowns. So, he, I mean, he was a player. But you're right. I don't think anybody considered him that kind of a quarterback from a passing standpoint. I mean, he ran well, too. But but for him to throw like that first game with a new surrounding cast, I, I was dazzled. I, maybe Houston's terrible, but I got to give him credit that, uh, you know, I think Link, Lincoln Riley could probably put a pop-up toaster at quarterback and get 400 <laughs> yards of offense out of him. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune in to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV, stream for free on BR Live, or download the Dan Patrick Show app.